fats and cholesterol in the body. Yes, it's that important. Fats are one of the critical building blocks of a healthy body and brain. Without fats, our bodies and brains are weak and don't work the way they should. Before we use them for building tissues in the body, dietary fats help us absorb fat-soluble vitamins. Doctors are finally acknowledging that a great many people are deficient in vitamin D, and this deficiency is implicated in cancer, increased risk of death from cardiovascular disease, cognitive impairment in older adults, asthma in children, diabetes, both type 1 and type 2, high blood pressure, multiple sclerosis, and glucose intolerance. We'll talk about the fat-soluble vitamins more in another slideshow. But we also need a proper balance of the other fat-soluble vitamins, including A, E, and K. If we are not consuming fat, and it has to be saturated fat, those vitamins do not get used. Fats provide energy. Triglycerides are the major fuel of skeletal muscles, supplying approximately twice as much energy as either carbohydrates or proteins. Eating fats provides satiation, which keeps us from eating too much of the carbohydrates that make many people gain weight. One of the most important uses for saturated fats in the body is to provide a protective cushion for our internal organs. Certain types of saturated fats are the preferred foods for the heart, which is why the fat around the heart muscle is highly saturated. The heart draws on this reserve of fat in times of stress. Short and medium chain saturated fatty acids have important antimicrobial properties. They protect us against harmful microorganisms in the digestive tract. Saturated fatty acids constitute at least 50% of the cell membranes. They're what give our cells necessary stiffness and integrity. Something you probably haven't heard before is that saturated fats play a vital role in the health of our bones. For calcium to be effectively incorporated into the skeletal structure, at least 50% of the dietary fats should be saturated. We've also heard a great deal lately about omega-3 fatty acids. They help reduce inflammation and make various hormones. But unless we're eating saturated fat, they're hard, it's hard for our body to use these. Now let's talk about cholesterol. Cholesterol is actually not a fat, but a sterol. Our need for cholesterol starts in infancy. Human breast milk is almost 50% cholesterol. And the baby uses almost all of that because her developing brain and eyes use huge amounts. Children deprived of cholesterol in infancy, such as those on formula, may end up with poor eyesight and brain function. 20% of the insulation around our nerves comes from cholesterol. And cholesterol-lowering drugs can interfere with essential brain functions such as memory. Cholesterol is used in the creation of hormones. These hormones have many functions in the body, from the regulation of our metabolism, energy production, mineral assimilation, brain, muscle, and bone formation, to behavior, emotions, and reproduction. Every sex hormone in our bodies is made from cholesterol. Vitamin D is made from cholesterol on the skin when exposed to sunlight at the right time of year. Cholesterol is essential for the maintaining of a healthy immune system. People with low cholesterol are more prone to infections and are more likely to die from them. LDL cholesterol, the so-called bad cholesterol, directly binds and neutralizes certain bacterial toxins. Even the dreaded MRSA, now a common hospital infection, does not work in the presence of LDL cholesterol. People with high cholesterol are four times less likely to get AIDS and rarely get colds. So while we have been taught to fear saturated fats and cholesterol, the body and the mind cannot be healthy without them.